Hi guys. So in the previous lecture we learned to find out uh, the differential of a function of a Brownian in motion. So for example if you had a function f of a variable t and Brownian in motion wt and if you wanted to find out the differential of this function we could do that by using Taylor's theorem and that would be given by df of t wt is equal to f f t of t w of t dt plus f of x t w of t d w of t plus half f t t w of t d t d t plus half f of x x t w t d w d w plus f of t x t w t d t d w plus higher order terms okay and from our multiplication table we know that dt dt would be zero dw dw would be equal to dt and dt dw would be equal to zero as well and all the higher order terms would also go to zero right so the so the equation can be written as df t w of t is equal to f t t w t d t plus f of x t w of t d w of t plus half f of x x t w of t d t right or in other words what we're doing is we basically are using Taylor series expansion and we're considering uh, first order terms of arguments where the quadratic variation is equal to zero. So if, uh, the, the, the argument t basically has a quadratic variation of zero. So we're going to only consider the first order terms. Okay, but, but for arguments where the quadratic variation is not equal to zero, we're going to consider the second order terms as well. Okay, so that's exactly what's going on. We are considering first order terms for argument where quadratic variation is zero, and we're considering um, second order terms for argument where quadratic variation is greater than zero. Okay, so this is what we learned in the previous lecture. Now we would like to actually expand this theory to cover Ito's processes. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so what are Ito's processes? So let's consider a probability space given by our sample space, a sigma algebra and a probability measure. Equipped on the space, we have a filtration as well. Okay, given by FT. And let's consider two adapted stochastic processes given by delta of T and theta of T. Both of these are adapted stochastic processes. Okay, that means that they are FT measurable. Okay, now uh, Ito's process is defined as x of t is equal to x naught plus 0 to t delta t delta u dw of u plus 0 to t theta of u du. So this basically is our Ito's integral and this is our regular Lebesgue integral. And this x naught is basically non-random, non okay? It's the starting value of this process at time zero. This can also be rewritten as, we can write this as integral zero to t dx of u is equal to integral zero to t delta of u dw of u plus zero to t theta of u du. And in differential term, this can be actually written as dx of t is equal to delta of t dw of t plus theta of t dt. Okay, so this basically is the differential form of 
Ito's process. This basically is the integral form. And these two, as we said, they were adapted stochastic processes. And xt basically then, if it can be expressed in this form, is basically called the Ito's process. Okay. So mostly all the processes that we're going to encounter in this uh, in this book are going to be Ito's processes, uh, except for processes that have jumps. Okay, jump processes are not Ito's processes, otherwise all the processes what we're going to encounter here can be expressed in this form and are going to be Ito's processes. Okay, so let's now consider how we can actually compute the differential uh, of a function of an Ito's process. Okay. <clears throat> 